Well, volunteers gather today to clean up the Cass River from Cass City past Vassar. TV 5 Shavar Sahaki reports on the difference they've made after more than a decade of cleanups. As the canoes left the water, the 12th annual Cass River cleanup was complete. The final four miles today means the river is clean from Cass City past Vassar. Today we have about 50 volunteers. What's really exciting is we have a, a good number of young volunteers. Bob Zeilinger is the chairman of the Cass River Greenway, the nonprofit putting on the effort. Our committee is get a little bit uh, long in the tooth, and so we're really glad to see some young people come out. Like these three Reese High School seniors, all part of the Reese Out of Doors Club. To help clean up the environment is one of my like biggest things that I want to do, because we have so little planet left, and we got to do everything to save everything that's left. Though the team here didn't pick up much trash, that's a good thing. It means the river is getting cleaner, and the volunteers can spend more time splashing around. <laughs> uh, it's a lot cleaner this time than it was before. We didn't find any tires, which we normally do. Each of the groups of volunteers wade through about a mile section of river, putting trash in a canoe they're pulling along. The initial getting in, you, you yeah. walk in and you're like, wow, this is cold. Yeah. And then you start to get used to it the more you walk. And then we just had a lot of fun with our group along the way. The trash they find most often? Tires. It's anywhere from 400 to 500 tires we pulled out of the river over 12 years. And downstream of Vassar, we pulled almost 100 tires out of the river. Now that they've finished as much of the river as they can stand in, next year is up to the organization to decide what to do. In Cairo, Trevor Sahaki, WNEM TV5.